Oh man. This really sucks. I just still cannot believe that I have been sentenced to a long time in prison for assaulting Jing at her baby shower, that has been like, what? Three weeks ago by now. And not only that, but, my boyfriend Tony had dumped me, and also took our son Coney away from me by taking custody of him. I just cannot believe he did that to me, his one and only girlfriend like that. And not only as well though. But, he is now going to probably going to get someone else to be in love with him instead. Which really sucks to be me right now. And it's all Jing's fucking fault for getting me into this situation and for what my life has now become. And honestly, I don't really regret doing that to her at all. She fucking deserved it for being such a stupid idiotic bitch for not inviting me to her baby shower. I hate her so much for doing that to me like that. I trusted her, just like I thought I could trust her to invite me to it, but, no. She instead had to be a stupid whore about it, and not invite me, God. I swear. Can my life get any more worse than this? <laughs> Curse all of you, you bunch of worthless bastards. You hear me? Worthless, good for nothing, fucking, bastards. You are fucking all dead to me. Cynthia Madison, would you please shut the freaking hell up? Me, my brother Peter, and the other officers can hear you all the way from in here. You are doing our bloody heads in with your moaning and complaining. Just what the hell are you shouting about? Because this better be worth my time. So come on. Explain yourself. Well Officer Jeff, the reason on why I am so angry and shouting for, is because of what happened between me and that loathsome good for nothing hoarding the other day when I assaulted her and she got me arrested, and also made me lose my boyfriend and son Coney for not inviting me to her baby shower. That's the reason on why I am so angry and are shouting for. And have you got a problem with that? Because if you have, then I can surely sort your problematic ass out if you like. Hey. Excuse me. And what did you just say to me? You listen here you lie some good for nothing attempted child murdering bitch. You don't ever, and I mean, ever, freaking dare to talk to and threaten to assault a police officer like that. That is rude and disgusting for you to say a such thing. You treat me with respect, and not speak and treat me like I am some sort of animal. You don't go around talking to people like that either. And just for threatening to assault me, I can execute your ass with electric chair right now if you like. Because if you are wanting that then I can surely do that if you want. Because the way you are going at the minute, is surely to way you are going about it. Whoa whoa whoa. Hey now, please calm down officer. I was only joking about doing that to you. I sincerely apologize for saying such a nasty threat like that towards you. And no please. I don't want to die by being executed to death by the electric chair thank you. Huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Also. And maybe next time you will think twice before speaking to an officer like that. Don't you dare to speak or threaten me like that ever again. You got that madam? Yes officer Jeff. I got that okay. I won't ever speak or dare to do something like that ever again. You have my word for it. Good. That's what I want to hear from you. We also heard of what you said about Jing, the one you assaulted three weeks ago. And you said that it is all her fault that you are now in prison for a long time. Well actually, for your thick information, it was actually you who was the one you got yourself in her for assaulting her all because she didn't invite you to her baby shower. If you didn't do something like that, then maybe you wouldn't be in here now would you? And anyways, I also came in here because there are some visitors who really want to see and have a serious word and talk with you. And I must warn you, that are not very happy with you. And I can assure you on that. And after they leave, I will bring your lunch in here. I hope they all give you a really hard lesson and word towards you. Wait, what? Visitors he says. Since when did I ever have people want to visit me for? I wonder who they could be? Wait, what the? Oh my goodness. It can't be. It's my mom, dad, Jack McGrath, Brainiac Adam and that loathsome good for nothing bitch in that I assaulted not too long ago. What are they all doing here, and what could they possibly want with me? I better go and ask them. Because they don't look very happy. Um hey there mom, dad, Jack McGrath, Brainiac Adam and Jim. How nice of you to drop by. I wasn't expecting you for to visit me on such a lovely day on such short notice. Are you all here to bail me out of prison? 
please say that you are. Cynthia motherfucking Madison. Are you fucking kidding us right now? You think we came here to bail you out? After all the shit and harm you caused to poor Jing over there? I don't freaking think so. Because do you even realize how hurt and traumatized she is feeling right now? A whole freaking lot I can tell you. What the actual fucking hell is wrong with you woman? Me and your mother just cannot believe of what you had done to her. How freaking dare you go and assault Jing all over not be invited to her baby shower. And you go and assault her just for that? Wow. Are you for real and kidding me right now? We raised you better than this. And you go and now do something horrendous like this? Wow. You are completely out of your freaking mind. I just cannot believe you. Your father is absolutely right. In all my years of parenting as a mother see their fully grown daughter do something like this, it is absolutely diabolical. Cynthia Madison. How could you go and put her through such a horrible state by assaulting her and putting her in hospital? You are so goddamn fucking lucky you didn't make her lose her baby by almost making her have a miscarriage. And if you weren't so lucky, you would have been executed for child murder. I just cannot believe you right now. Words can't even describe of how pissed we are all at you right now. You are nothing but a heartless psychotic of a daughter we have ever had and raised. Me and your dad did not raise you to become an abuser or become some sort of mania. We raised you better than that. And look where you have gone and done to yourself now. You have really fucked and screwed your life up. And for what? Not being invited to her baby shower? That is such a really fucked up thing to be mad and assault her for. And if you think we are going to bail you out, then you can surely think again. Because we are not doing that at all. You deserve this for what you have done, and now you are getting your come ups for it. Hope you have fun rotting behind these bars because you were going behind them for a very long time for what you had done. I agree with your mum and dad on it, Cynthia. I also just cannot fucking believe what my ears and eyes have just heard of what you did to Jing over there. Words cannot describe how pissed I am literally with you right now. Because what I can say is, is that I am literally fuming with rage with you. How freaking dare you go and assault her like that while she was pregnant? Because assaulting her while she was freaking pregnant? Are you literally out of your fucking mind right now? How dare you go and assault her all because you weren't invited to her baby shower? That is one of the most idiotic thing you could have ever done all over the lightest slightest thing like that. And do you even realize that if you weren't so lucky and that she didn't get to the hospital in time, she might have lost her baby daughter girl and you would have been in so much deep shit than you were already in right now. And not only that, you do realize that if you did kill her daughter, that would have made you tick the boxes of being an Alana's team. But you are so goddamn lucky you didn't, because being one of them is the worst thing anyone could possibly do. And even me looking at you is making feel so freaking sick that I can't even stand to look at your face. And you were so lucky you were behind and protected by those bars, because if they weren't fit to protect you, then I would really smash your face in good for what you did. You also do realize that killing a baby is a very disgusting and illegal thing to do. And that can also get you killed by other people. Because whoever kills a baby, is fucking dead to them. And you were so lucky you were not one of them. Because I can tell you, it isn't something to laugh and be proud about. And I can assure you on that. Jack is absolutely right about that Cynthia. Because I am feeling the same way as in right now for what you did to Jing over here. Just how freaking dare you go and fucking assault her all because she didn't invite you to her baby shower. That has got to be one of the stupidest things anyone like you could have been done. And like like Jack said, if you weren't so lucky and that you actually did kill a baby daughter, then that you would have ticked the boxes to being an Alana's team. You are just the fucking worst Cynthia. You hear me you ugly attempted child murdering whore? The absolute fucking worse. I hope you have a lot of fun rotting in this cell, because you have a lot to think to about for what you did, and what you truly deserve for assaulting her. Because if she was my girlfriend and it was my daughter, even though I am a man who was happily with another man, who is known as Dean Pello, I would have killed you to death on the spot, and you don't ever, and I mean never, go and fucking assault a woman who is pregnant, or any pregnant woman to be exact. I agree with your mom, dad, 
Jack McGrath and Brainiac Adam have just said. You are such a disgusting person and woman I have ever had to see and met in my entire whole life. I just cannot fucking believe that you would do such a horrendous disgusting and selfish thing to do towards us like that for. And if it wasn't for my boyfriend and my other mum friends, then I wouldn't known what happened to my baby girl. But luckily I was immediately rushed to the hospital with only minor injuries to my face and body, and that the doctor gave me some special treatment to treat my injuries. And if you did make me lose my baby daughter, then you would have been dead to me. And you did all of that because for what? All because I didn't invite you to my baby shower. Wow. I just cannot believe you right now woman. You are nothing but a good for nothing selfish heartless psychopath who only seems to care about herself and not others. That is such a disgusting thing to know. And not mention. That other the reason on why I didn't invite you is you used me as your errand girl back in middle school. And you would always ask me to do things for you that you could obviously do by yourself. But no, you were nothing but a good for nothing lazy bum of a whore to do them. And why did you go ahead and ask one of my mum friends Courtney and tell her lies that you were a close friend to me back in middle school, even though you weren't? And you did that just so you could get invited to my baby shower? Wow. I cannot believe you right now Cynthia. You are such a selfish fucking jerk with no purpose of life whatsoever. Well you good for nothing slut. If you would kindly want to know the reason why I did that. Well, I will tell you alright. Because when I texted one of your mum friends Courtney, asking her if you were okay to be inviting me which I was hoping you say yes, but, when I got a text back from her, she said that you said you didn't want to invite me, so I tricked her into thinking that I was okay about it. Which I was not, and that I was instead filling with absolute rage. I decided if I can't be invited, then no one can, and that's why I beated you up and also not to mention by pushing you down the stairs, and honestly, I couldn't give to fucking shits if your baby did survive or not, because to be honest, your daughter would have been far better of dead than to be alive like she is alive and breathing well on this fucking stupid world and planet which is known as planet earth like she is doing right now. So how about you go and do me a favor Jing, go and fuck yourself, you stupid fucking bitch with no life. I hate you so goddamn fucking much I tell you. You hear me you bitch. Fuck you, and fuck your stupid silly fucking daughter. Because I hope you and your baby burns and dies in a fucking fire for all I care, or better of, die of fucking cancer. And if your baby is still alive by then, then I hope she has a pathetic and horrible life. And also fuck the rest of you four for treating me like a bitch. So also do me a favor and go and fuck yourselves too along with Jing the ugly whore over there. Oh my god. Oh my so effing, god. What the actual fuck did you just say towards me and my baby daughter you disgusting woman? You didn't say what I think you just said you did you? Yeah. You heard me right you bitch. I said I hope you and your daughter dies in a freaking fire or better off, cancer, and I couldn't give a goose's ass if you both did. Because you along with her deserve to be. And if I was at Yu's 2's funeral, then I would smash Yu's 2's graves up and burn your coffins up along with them. Oh my, freaking god. I cannot believe you of what you have just said. How freaking could you dare to wish that and that you would do those horrendous things to our graves at our funeral if that did happen us? I cannot believe you right now you whore. You are so goddamn lucky I can't beat your ass right now because you are behind those bars, but you don't know how angry I am right now to literally tear your ass up. Huh. And oh yeah. And you think you can fight me do yeah? Well. I ain't scared of you woman, and I think I would easily win that fight against you. You wouldn't survive or have the fucking chance of beating me. Because I could beat and win against your ass any day. Oh. And you really do think so about that do you Cynthia? Well I can tell you, if you think that it is only Jing who is going to fight your butt, then you can think again on about that. Because I would join in on that fight against your ass along with Jing. And it will also include me too, because I won't be backing down from the fight when there always is one. So you are outnumbered woman. So it looks like you won't a chance on surviving. Huh. Well, even though if I am outnumbered, I could still take you two's asses along with Jinx any day. So I would back off if I was you. Cynthia A. Madison. Enough. That is absolutely quite a fucking enough of that freaking nonsense and shit coming from your mouth. We have had enough of you and your bullshit. You are nothing but a pathetic bitch of a daughter we have ever had to have and had to be born. We all hate you, hope you die in her of cancer or if the officer decides to have an inmate in her with you, and hope they kill your ass to death. And for this, and we didn't really want to do this, but, you are so motherfucking grounded for life, and you are never going to be ungrounded until you die in this prison cell for what you did. Wait, what? Grounded? 
I am grounded. And I never going to be ungrounded until I die in here, you say? You got that damn fucking right, woman. You are grounded for life until you die in here. And also, when your funeral comes, and is that even if we are still alive until then? Which we hope we will. Because we both want to see you burn in hell for what the amount of crap you have caused and done. And we hope to never see your ass ever again. Because you are never welcome back into our lives. You mess and fucked your life, Missy. And you are now going to get your karma for it. And even if you do find a way out of prison, then we don't want you anywhere near us. Because if you do dare to threaten to kill us or step a single foot near us, then we will get a restraining order against you. Anyways, see you never Cynthia. You are no longer our daughter, we are straight up done with you. You can die for all we freaking care. Hope you have a pathetic and horrible life you bitch of a whore. Wait, no. You guys can't do this to me. You can't ground and leave me like this. Where will I be without you? Without you guys, I am nothing. Please don't leave me please, I promise I will do anything for you and be a good person from now on. Please just trust me. I can change, and won't do anything like this ever again. Please. Well we just did. And we can do that because we are your parents. So we have full authority to do that. And also, that isn't our problem is it? You did this to yourself, and now you are getting what you deserve. And you think you can change and be a better person from now on. Oh hardy ha ha. Yeah right. Like you would ever change to be something like that. Not in a million freaking years would we ever believe and trust you on with that. Because if you think we would be that stupid and idiotic enough to fall for that scheme, then you can go and fuck a lamppost. And what is there to your life now anyway? There is no life and hope for you now that the way you have fucked it up. And also, if you dare threaten to kill us or step a foot near us, then I will do the same as your parents. And another to say to you before we go, stay the fuck away from me and my daughter, my boyfriend, and also my mom friends or any other friends I am friends with. Goodbye Cynthia. You are literally the worst person I have ever met and had to be born. And also another quick thing to say. I hope you die in a fire, cancer, or any other horrible and horrendous things happen to you in your life. Anyways, good riddance, you bad old bag of shit, and rubbish. Wait a minute, Jing. Please don't treat me like this, I am so very sorry for what I did to you and your daughter, I promise I will do anything, and I mean, anything to make up for what I did to you both. Please trust me, I never intentionally intended to harm you and your baby like that, I know I messed and fucked up big time by doing that, but please trust me on this, I promise I will never do something like this ever again. I swear to god. Oh really? You really think that I am going to accept your apology and you want me to believe that you would do anything for me to make up for what you did to me and my daughter? Ha! Huh? I don't freaking think so about that. It is far too late to apologize. Plus, do you honestly think that I would accept an apology from you, after what you did and put me through? I don't think so Cynthia. Because your apology is completely denied. I don't need someone like you in my life. You are such a selfish asshole who only cares about yourself. And no matter how much you apologize to me for what you did to me, isn't going to make up for what you have done and committed. You are such a dirty whore with no life, and that is the very end of it. Because I don't even want to speak to you anymore, because I have had just about enough of you. Anyways, do me a huge favor, and go and fuck yourself you disgusting ass of a scant. I'm the same with me. See you never Cynthia, you dirty rotten bitch with no life and hope. I've rotten in her for what you did to Jing, I hope to never see you again. Because if you do break out of prison, then I would instantly kill your ass on the spot. And also have fun being grounded for the rest of your life. You worse excuse of a human being. That's right you horrible woman. I also hope you have fun rotting in here and being grounded for your entire life for what you did. And I hope to never see you again. Because if me and my other adamantium friends see you, then we will kill your ass in an instant. So I would be very careful if I was you. Anyways, see you never, good for nothing entitled attempted child murdering bitch. And also a quick save from me, good freaking by Cynthia, the worst daughter we have ever had to have and raise, hope you die or get killed in her by another inmate for what you did, goodbye, hope to never see you again, and have a horrible pathetic life, bitch. Estamina. Cynthia Madison.
we will, we will not, not tell, tell you again. If you don't, if you don't, you don't stop, stop crying like, like a bloody fucking motor car, I swear to fucking God, we will all use the, use the odd logic, logic to turn you into one and have your soul the prize on the eliminator. So do us a favor and shut the fuck up. And another thing to say, get wrecked you bitch, hope you die in here for what you did to me. You disgusting loathsome vile attempted murdering witch of a bitch.